So, welcome everybody. This is Obing, and I am here with another weekend webinar of Obing Meditations. And I just want to talk to you today about the three keys to personal power and practicing meditation. Certain things that you want to do when practicing your meditation. Three things that we want to talk about and harp on right now is going to be personal wealth, personal health, personal health, abundance of wealth, and mastering self. Now, personal health and abundance of wealth is not wealth is not spelled the normal way that you may envision it. Wealth, I spell it W E L L T H. So we got to emphasize on the well part of wealth. And so let's just start from the beginning of this before we jump into the meat of this matter. When it comes to um, your personal power, let me back this up a little bit because I don't want to be echoing myself. So when it comes to your personal power, one of the things we have to do is think about first personal health. Now, you cannot feed anyone from a place of brokenness and from a place where there is no health or you cannot make anyone else healthy if your mind, your body, and your spirit, your soul is not healthy. And so we have to think about our personal power. Where do we get it from? Where do we pull it from? Our personal power, we have to tap into kind of like a well. And so our health, one of the main things we do when talking about our health is being conscious of the people that we surrounded by, being conscious of the things in the food that we eat and being conscious of the environments that we tend to set ourselves in. And so personal health is making sure that you first are taken care of before you can take care of anyone else. And so therefore now you are pulling and tapping into your personal wealth. And so your wealth, your abundance of wealth, I'm sorry. So we have personal health, number one, abundance of wealth. And so now the wealth, when we talk about well, we're talking about W E. L L T H well and so your purpose and your calling comes from a well that springs up within you this living water that continuously consciously goes out forth and so you're feeding people from this well and so when you are tapping into the abundance of your wealth the abundance of your wealth you are tapping into a place that can never run dry, a well. You are tapping into the depths and into the bowels of your soul where the well can never run dry. It is like standing at the edge of Niagara Falls and looking over Niagara Falls and just being on the surface and being in the atmosphere of Niagara Falls. I have been to Niagara Falls and I've witnessed the thunderous sound of the waters and the rushing waves, the rushing sound of the waves running over the water, running over the ledge. And I felt the power of the water. You can feel the earth quaking underneath your feet. And so your purpose becomes like the Niagara Falls River, pounding and pounding and pounding at your soul. And so when you are tapping into your personal health, you are also coming from a well of water, a well of life that can never run dry. Your personal power has to do with tapping into this part of your beingness. And so your well never runs dry like the like the, the Niagara Falls. There's this water just overflowing, overpouring your abundance of wealth. It's just you are giving and feeding from a place of life that never runs dry. You are feeding from this well, from the bowels of your soul that never runs empty. And so people begin to get life. And your water is watering the land, okay? You're watering the land. Your water, your purpose waters the land so that you can reap a harvest. And when you reap a harvest, when you are living your light, you see, because what they say that fruit cannot be produced in the darkness. Fruit can only be produced by the light. And if you are not living your light, then you are not producing your fruit in your well, your well, your purpose, your well, the abundance of wealth. That well is nourishing and feeding the land so that you can reap and grow the crop and raise up a crop and then you will begin to reap the harvest of that crop and that crop will begin to feed you and others in millions and billions and so you must tap into your personal power number one tap into your personal health making sure that you are in the right environments consciously knowing where you are who you're with what you're putting in your mind and in your body 
And so therefore, you are coming now from when you are able to give, you are giving from a wealthier place, a wealthier place, a place of wealth that never runs out, that never runs dry, a place of wealth that you constantly and continuously feed people from and you give life to, you give life from it. And see, it feeds you while it feeds others. And so they say billions of gallons of water pours over the ledge of the Niagara Falls. And that's who you're feeding, billions of people with your purpose, with your personal power, when you tap into your personal power. And one of them, number two, is the abundance of wealth. And then you begin to master, number three, mastering yourself you begin to know who you are what you do and you will never listen you will not sacrifice you will not you will not lend time and you will not lend energy to anything other than what you were put here to do so the things that you were put here to do mastering self is knowing that you're not going to go work somebody's job or you that this thing that you have it is not a nine to five this thing is not a nine to five but it is something that has been given to you. It is not a nine to five. See, you don't work, you don't labor to do what's put inside of you to do. You don't labor to do this. It comes easy and mastering self. The more and more and more you do it, the more you do it, the more you give, the more you speak from your soul, the more you give from your personal power, the more you give from your abundance of wealth, and the more you get from a healthier place, the more people will begin to know who you are using your authentic voice and message, using your authentic self, going into that place where you only know you can come from. And so now people will challenge you. People will, people will come at you and people will believe that this thing you do do not work for anyone else. But you have to see it for yourself. And so it's like seeing a letter in the bottle and you're trying to fish for the letter you're trying to fish the letter outside of the bottle but really what you must do is take that bottle you must crack that bottle open you must shatter all doubt shatter the glass of all doubt shatter the glass of all thinking shatter the glass of all fear and you must crack the bottle open get the letter out and go with the message and do what the message is saying and so some people will not get the message some people will not feel the message some people will not grab the message because they are trying to fish the message out of a bottle but you cannot do that with this kind of a message you must crack the bottle open you must shatter the thinking shatter the doubt shatter the fear shatter all worry and get out there and know that this is what you were called to do and you're not going to go and work for someone who will not allow you to be free in this way and so you now have to look at people and say is this person healthy for me is this environment conducively healthy for me and if it's not, then you must go. See, you got a purpose, a calling, and you want to pour from your abundance of wealth. And it, it's coming up out of your soul, and it, it's shaking and rattling at your bones. And so what is happening here is, it's like you are having this rush of water and waves, thunderous sounds, pounding against you, going off in you, ready to explode. And you, my dear beloved, have, have tried to shut this thing off. But the thing is, you cannot put a faucet on the Niagara Falls. You cannot put a faucet and turn this off. You cannot turn off what is inside of you, this well, when you tap into it, when you reach down to the depths, when you go to the bowels of the dark, deep waters where that flow comes from, where that abundance comes from, and you're giving to the people that you need to feed because you're going to use that water, you're going to use your light to do what? To produce fruit in your well, your wealth, your abundance of wealth is the water that nourishes the land of the seeds you plant. When you speak, you're planting seeds. When you speak, you're planting seeds. And so your well, your purpose is the water that waters the land. And then you're going to be reaping. You're going to be reaping. You're going to be growing crop. Crop is going to be raised up. And then by the seasons come, you're going to be raking and reaping in the benefits of the harvest. The people that you spoke to will come easily the people that you have given the message to will flow to you naturally it will come to you naturally and everybody will see you the people will love you the people will gravitate towards you and they will not have to think to do it they will know because the knowing within themselves is the knowing that is inside of you and the knowing that is inside of you is the knowing that's within themselves so it is one universal thing and so the thing is they're looking for a knowing they're looking for a study they're looking for some type of booklet but you cannot find this in the 
the book. You must find this within yourself. This knowing that is in me is the knowing that is in you. And when we come together as one, then we can go in the same direction. Feeding and nourishing lands, feeding and nourishing people, feeding and nourishing the soil from which rich from the rich soils from which God has come brought us forth from. And so we, as natural beings, will begin to do something naturally explosive inside of us. Like the Niagara Falls River just naturally goes over the ledge and fills up the waters and pounds the ground. And you can feel it under your feet. And you can feel it within your soul. That same pounding, that same thunder, that same roaring is going on inside of you. And you must get out. And you must go. And you must do. And you must seek until you find knock and it will be answer you understand speak forth those things that are not as though they were and they will come to you as easily as you speak it this will not be some knowing this will be a work of your labor from your soul it's already done you don't have to go and force or toil to do anything you just have to be still in this knowing and know when you want to go personal health abundance of wealth and mastering self, you got to start to tap into something different. You got to shatter the glass to get the message out. Stop trying to fish for the message, the letter inside the bottle. Shatter the glass, get the message out, and go. Shatter fear, shatter doubt, shatter all this unconscious stuff that comes on us. And wake up and live your best life right now. Begin to live, begin to know, begin to flourish, begin to nourish, begin to <sighs> begin to feed, begin to feed, and the doors shall be answered open to you when you feed like this, when you feed from the soul, soul food. Your, your eyes will become awakened. Your light will be turned on and you will be a guide to guide others. This will not be some fanatical, radical decision, irrational thinking. That's where you get, get lost at. In fanatical, radical, irrational thinking. You get lost there because you're trying to use and say it's not radical, that's not rational, that's not this and not that. It's not either of those things. It's these things, that radicalness and fanaticalness and this and that, that's all th things that we're, we're putting in our mind. We're putting that in our mind, but we don't need to. We just need to be still and knowing that there is a knowing that is already going on inside of us, that already knows. And we don't have to fight against it. We have to just go with it. And it will flow like the rivers. And that, answer, and that call inside of you will be answered. It will be answered. When you want to go and talk to somebody, why must you think about it? If you feel like your purpose is to go talk to people, go to Starbucks and get in, and get in there and say hello to someone. If you feel like your purpose is to write a book, then get to your laptop and punch in a key. If you feel like your purpose is to, to help people, then go to a homeless shelter and, and give a bottle of water. Do something simple, but in the meantime, get started, my dearly beloved. Stop giving so much thinking to this when thinking is conscious, when we need to be doing things unconsciously in the sense of, in the sense of our purpose because it already knows. We don't have to think consciously about what to do. Follow the inner guide, the energy, the inner God. That's where your power, personal power will come from. Trust me on this. I love you. I love me. I love us. Atone. That is my weekend webinar in a short version. Peace.